Before we start, check out this graph that hasn't changed. Look at it! Hello my friends! Hi, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today we are in a weird spot in my floor because I got this today! It's already opened out of the box because there was like other stuff I needed in the box. Oh, an alarm went off on my phone and it just ruined my day. Okay, yeah there was other stuff I needed in the box so I went ahead and opened it but I got this! And this is a little Eda bag. It was very inexpensive on Amazon. It has okay reviews, but I'm just gonna be using it as like a like a work bag, like purse kind of deal. So it doesn't have to be fantastic. So I'm just gonna open this up. I only paid like $15 for it and the um, little display pouch part of it is very tiny um, but I think we can still work with it. I'm still excited about it and of course you can do a lot with the just the outside. It smells weird which is to be expected. Yeah I've had this cart cart I've had this bag like in my cart and like on my wish list for years and I'm finally like you know what I deserve it. Treat yourself. I was in the market for a new bag and I thought this was pretty cute. It's a reasonable size like width wise it kind of looks huge on camera. In person it's not like that that big but it's definitely a nice size. I have my Miku backpack here which I usually take to work with me and um just like a standard size backpack that way you can kind of get an idea of size. So it could definitely fit like um I'd say like a 13 inch laptop in it. Um, so about that size. Um, and it is like a shoulder bag style. It does not come with a longer strap for like to be like a messenger bag. I don't like messenger bags so I much prefer something like this. It is like canvas texture. The straps are a little cheap feeling like I don't know how well it would hold up like if you carried a bunch of books and stuff like that in it. I do think it could be used as a school bag. I saw on a lot of the reviews to like maybe do something to steady the bottom like stick something down in here so that it's sturdy so that the bottom stays shaped and like nothing falls out and stuff. Um, I'm not super duper worried about that personally because I'm just gonna throw stuff like I don't know what's in my work bag. I got my keys. I got those are my store keys. Got a little umbrella, masks, change purse, hairbrush, hello kitty chopsticks because you never know when you're gonna need those. I don't know just dumb shit. So it's not that big a deal. It doesn't have to hold a bunch but it is pretty roomy like opening it up like that's a decent amount of room like I can definitely where's my emotional support water bottle like I can definitely stand that guy up in the bag and that's like a decent sized water bottle so I don't know it's got quite a bit of space it does have this little sleeve pocket here that I like a lot it has this little pouch that comes with it it came inside the bag um, it's kind of on a little thing outside here so that's cool because I can definitely use this for sure but I probably won't leave it on the outside I guess you could leave it on the outside and like put stuff in it maybe decorate the outside of this I'm just gonna unhook that I'll definitely utilize that though I'm sure or maybe I can replace my weird little um bootleg hello kitty change purse that's cool though there's also this pocket on the outside like right here. I'm so bad at showing things. Yeah, right here. Um, oh, this is already zipped open. Okay, yeah, so that's like nice and roomy there. So stuff I need like quick and easy access to, I guess I could throw down in there. And then of course you have your little um, display pocket here. And then there's nothing on the back. Yeah, so they had this one. They had like a blue one. They had one that was color blocked with like uh, pink and purple and blue and I thought about that quite a bit but I feel like just the pink and the white is a lot more like my color palette for the most part. I guess I do a, do a lot of purple and blue and stuff. I like the bright colors but I don't know. I've been kind of into like a softer um, color palette lately. So I just like this one a lot. I think it's cute. So I thought today since I have this I could decorate it. Wow. Isn't that fun? Is that a thing? Is that a video? I don't know. I already got tons of stuff. I have a lot of ideas. Um, so let me, let me move this down a little bit. Um, show you a little bit about what I got to go on the bag. Now, of course, I already have like a lot of keychains and stuff. These are my work keys, for example. Um, 
Got my little dinosaur hand sanitizer. So precious. Mm, I love Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. Ah. I have a Hello Kitty uh, poppet, <laughs> which is a lot of fun to play with at work. And then I have my little, um, I think I'll take this off of my keys and add this to the bag. And this is just a little keychain. It looks like a little milk and it's got like this fluid inside of it. So that kind of looks like milk. It's just so fun. I love it. I would rather saw off an arm than drink milk from a cow. But the keychain's cute. Look at that. Wow. What else? Oh, I have this on my backpack currently. And it's just a little, little cat, little squishy cat. That's fun. We can use that. I have this, which is gonna take some getting off. And Mercedes got this for me for my birthday, along with everything else. And it's just a little pig. So that's super cute. And then I have these as well. I got Steve. And I have a golden sword. So those are cool. And then of course I just have my, uh, just my AirPods case, which is a creeper. So that's pretty cool. Big fan of that. I actually have two of these. You can see the other one in the background here. I would always, uh, when I worked at Best Buy, I would always have this like with me on my, uh, the loop of my pants, like the belt loop. And his head would like fall off all the time, which is actually pretty securely on there, but I guess move it around a lot and I'm not paying attention. So like his head would come off. Um, so I like lost the top to this a couple times, so I went ahead and bought an extra one just in case something happened to this one, because I love it so much. So that's a lot of fun. I think that's it for that. And then I bought the special just to go on the bag. Um, I also considered this. So I have my lanyard for work here. And I recently just went through and redid it because I had a little bit of everything on there. Like I had my horror pins, I had random stuff. Like I got this uh, David Bowie Goblin King pin, which is pretty fucking awesome. You know how much I love Labyrinth and David Bowie. Um, but I wanted to change my lanyard to be more like, um, I don't know, more anime and like kawaii kind of stuff. So I have all this. Um, a lot of Hello Kitty, of course. Some. Rilakuma. I have this, which was actually a necklace, and it's a uh, Vampire Knight, which I feel like is was everybody's first um, manga. <laughs> yeah, which I just safety pinned that on here. Oh no! Oh no! Our table is broken. What did I lose? Oh, it's this little bear. So yeah, I just redid my lanyard, um, which sucks because like a lot of these I feel like would be really cute on this bag. Like I got a little puck from ReZero. I got a Miku. This is actually my only Miku pin. Got a lot of Animal Crossing and stuff too. Got a little uh, rim. So a lot of these would be cute on the bag, but I don't want to take a lot off my lanyard. Because this like people see all the time every day. Like good conversation starter, these buttons. Uh, this really only I'm gonna see or like when I'm out and about, you know, like on a day-to-day -day basis at work These are my favorite pins. So I'd like these to be on me at all times Yeah, but there's a few I could get off on here, you know um, Cuz it is quite full so I thought maybe some of the Animal Crossing ones I don't necessarily need all these on here. Like I think I'll leave that I have this one it says anime characters aren't real But my feelings are I feel like that's good for my lanyard because this with the coloration of it I'd like to keep it more like cutesy looking, you know where it's pink So there's a lot of these I feel like could go on there and then maybe just leave most of the other ones that don't really like match the bag so I didn't all have that but I went ahead and bought some buttons specifically for the bag like, uh, first I bought another one of these rim pins because I love her. Yeah, so uh, I didn't want to take it off my lanyard, but I really wanted it for the bag. So I just went and bought another one. And then I got this. This was super cute. Um, here's the box. It was actually a Hello Kitty and Pusheen collab uh, with Loungefly. So that's really cute because I'm like two of my favorites because I have like some, I don't know if you can see them. I have some Pusheens back here. Um, I don't think you can see it in the frame. And then obviously I have my Hello Kitty. So I do love Pusheen and Hello Kitty. And it was like a little mystery enamel pin. 
I was hoping I would get one of these, like, that's both of them together. Or, like, maybe the Hello Kitty and the Pasheen outfit. But I ended up with the little Hello Kitty with the donut. Which is perfectly fine. Anything Hello Kitty, I'm good to go. But that is still really cute. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I think that'll look cute on the bag. And then I also bought another one of these that I have on my lanyard. The Minecraft Creeper pen. And it was the last one. I'm like, nobody deserves it more than me. I bought this because it looked cool. Um, it's Rumpa. So that one's cool. I got a little green cow because I thought that was cute. And then a little pink cow. I think this is the one I have on my lanyard. Yeah, I have the same one on my lanyard too. That's cute. Uh, I found a little Todoroki because he's my favorite. And then I found this and it's another little rim. I love Rim. Everybody loves Rim, but I mean, I I know after all Subaru and Rim went through, like, I get it. I know why everyone was like, what the fuck? But at the same time, I understand why he loves Amelia. Like, I get it. Also, to be fair, Amelia never killed him, so... I'm sure there was some trauma and animosity there. Ear up, Subaru. Let me make one of the most heartfelt speeches in recent anime to make you feel better cementing me as best girl. Wow, I'm all better now. Also, I love you. Fuck you. I love Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> what? I recently just rewatched ReZero and then finally watched the second season. So, like, it's very fresh in my brain. Okay, what else? What else? Oh, I bought this and it's a little cat. <laughs> Look at his face. I love him. There was all kinds. Like, there was a lot of um, ones that were like that. Like, different colors and stuff. And they all just had that little, like, sideways three mouth. You know, like, very cartoony. But this was the only one that had a face like this and was, like, normal colors. I don't know. And I thought he was the cutest one, but he was just sitting there all by himself. Like, nobody would buy him. Everybody bought up all the other ones. And they wanted nothing to do with him. So I felt bad. So I had to bring him home with me. He was like $12. But <laughs> this is so cute. Okay. And I think he will be perfect on my bag. I also thought about stuff like this. Like I have these little. And these are precious. I put her little dress back on her. I have these little mini squishmallows. Yes. Mini squishmallows. I did not know they were a thing until we got some. Oh gosh. Oh no! But they're so adorable. Like, look, and she's got like a little dress on or like a little shirt. And then I got this one, a little dragon, and it's got like a like a parka on. <laughs> and then there's this bird, like a cute little bird. He's got a little hat with bear ears. Like, what are you doing with bear ears? You're so silly. I love them. So uh, that was also an idea. Like these are super cute and that would be so fun to like put in this front pocket, you know? Cause I like the people that um, do their Eda bags and they don't just put like pins in it in the window. They do like stuffed animals and stuff. I think that is so fun. Plus I'm a big fan of carrying stuffed animals with me everywhere I go anyways. But then I also, I don't know if he'll fit. We'll have to see, but I was hoping the pocket would be a little bit bigger because when I was at that, um, I recently went to an animal anime convention like the local one they have around here and that's the only cool thing that this entire state has um but I got to go at least for a day I had to work the rest of the time but I bought this little Rila Kuma and he's so precious and he's like velvety and like how cute he is and he's pretty small so I'm like maybe he would fit in there I don't think so though let's try it I mean yeah he does Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Should I leave him in there? I, f I feel bad. He looks like he's in prison. He's like getting squished. <laughs> he can't breathe. Oh, but look at him. And knowing I got him at the con, like my very first con. So amazing. But then I kind of want to see what the squishmallows look like in there too. I'm sorry this filming angle is weird because you can't see what I'm doing. But I promise I'll hold it up and show you when I'm done. I know the Squishmallows would probably be more ideal. See, that's cute too though. Isn't it? 
I mean, I don't have to, like, keep the same thing in it all the time. I can switch them out. It's fine. I'm allowed to do that. But I don't know. That's super duper precious. But I also just, I love the Relakuma. I guess I could also take these guys and, like, get, I can put safety pins and, like, pin them. I'd probably want to cut the tags off. And I also don't know about their little accessories, like their little clothes. I feel like that's a cute touch, but that's not super practical. I guess unless I pin those on too. But I'm like, do you? I don't think she really needs a shirt. It is cute though. I don't know. Maybe I'll play with it. Let me see if I can find some safety pins. Let me go look. <laughs> Two. What did I do with them? I had a ton. I found a few, so I feel like I can work with this. I just, I had literally so many and I, I put them in a specific place and I don't remember where that place was now. But I found enough, I think we can work with it. I also found this and this is kind of old. This came in like a random, um, it was like a little box I bought with all kinds of Hello Kitty accessories, like hair clips and stuff. And it's a little Hello Kitty pin. So that's going to be perfect. Yay. I also thought about stuff like this. Like I have a ton of hair clips, like cutesy little hair clips that I feel like you could easily just take this and like, oh, there's hair on it, like stick it to the bag, you know, like on the straps and stuff. I think that would be fun and stuff like this, like that I thought was cute that I don't ever wear in my hair. Like, you can use that. I have tons of little hair clips I feel like I could use on the straps. There's already dog hair on this. Okay, I guess let's start. I'm gonna start by putting my little Relakuma in this front pocket here. Because I, I feel like he belongs. And the pink in his bow is like the perfect shade of pink to match. And I just think he's so cute and I would love to take him everywhere with me. This was kind of my idea. Like I didn't really know I was going to finally buy this bag. But when I was at the con, I did kind of buy him with the intention of being small in case I ever did finally get an Eda bag. Like I immediately knew I wanted him for it. And his ears get a little cut off in the window. But if I just really push him down, I think. Make sure his bow is straightened out. And you can still see his little face. His ears get a little cut off. But you get the idea. Yeah, isn't that cute? Oh, I love him. All right, now the pins are going to be the hard part. Because I'd like to, you know, line it with the pins and stuff. But at the same time, you have these little hangers for, like, keychains and things. So, do I want to go ahead and add, like, the keychains first? Because I do have a few here. Take my little angry cat. I'm going to keep the tag because it's super cute. I'm going to stick it on my wall. You know, I love to collect cute tags for my wall. I'm going to stick them right here. Now Rilakuma has a friend. So cute. I don't know if I want to add the squishy cat. I like it. It's a little dirty now. But is there something else I'd like to add more? I have my little piggy. Little pom-pom piggy. That's cute. I also have my little milk. I think I'll stick the milk over here with the cat. Yeah. That's cute. The little milk with the cat. That's fun. I like that a lot. I don't know what to do. I think I'll add, add the piggy on this side. Yeah. I could also add the piggy on the zipper. I think that could be fun. I can utilize the zippers. I like that. I like him on the zipper cause yeah. Wow. What else? Should I put the little cat over here? Oh, you know what else I have? I forgot. Gosh. I have so many things I did not even think about. Like, I have this little pug in a unicorn costume. You got a little hood. I have this squishy ice cream. I have a little squishy donut. I have this Hello Kitty. And then I have this Hello Kitty. Oh, so many options. I definitely want to add a Hello Kitty. I feel like this like the cat itself fits the color palette better i don't like the hanger on it i guess i could always take that off somehow i don't know the cat matches but i also i just love hello kitty even though she doesn't really go with the bag 
I don't know. I'm gonna stick her on there. What do you think? I feel like you can't really see the milk that much. This is my big cat. Yeah? That's cute, right? I like her. I think I'll let her stay. Should we move on to pins? Like, I think I'll put some pins across the top right here and then start to put them, like, up the straps a little bit. Let's go ahead and see what I've got. Let's open up Rem. I can take some of my Animal Crossing ones that I feel like match a little more. Or the Hello Kitties. I have a lot of Hello Kitties on here. Well, not a lot. I have, like, three. I'm gonna start with this big Hello Kitty enamel pin and just put her, like, front and center right here. I feel like that's good. I like that. Let's do the cows on either side, like that. So I added that Hello Kitty, and then I added in my two little cows, and then I stuck my rim, and then my creeper. And then what I was thinking about doing is I grabbed one of the little Squishmallows, and I cut off the tag to the best of my ability with the weird little pocket knife I had. And I'm trying to think what to do with this little guy. Because I think, I'm thinking maybe I'll stick him along the top like that. I took his little dress off because I feel like that's just going to be an inconvenience. And then I did find these safety pins. So I think I can just like pin them. The cat's really cute and matches really well. So I'll just stick it in the back. Well, let me just stick the cat there and then I'll stick the pin in from the back on the inside. Huh, that works. Yeah, that's cute, right? Ah, oh, I love it. I'll put the dragon in the middle since he's like different. You know, he's a little fancy. Cute. Ah, oh, I love this. This was such a good idea. I'm glad I thought of it. I'm so smart. Now we'll add my little burb. Ah, there we go with the squishmallows. I love this. I love that I'll have all these stuffed animals to carry around with me all the time. That is so freaking cute. Oh, I'm so in love with this. This is the happiest I've been since ever. <laughs> what next? What next? What next? I do have my big please don't touch that I had to buy when I was at Best Buy where they like thought they could touch me. But I could like stick that right there to let people know not to touch my shit. Yeah, that's nice. Don't touch Rita Kuma. Let's see what I have on my lanyard. I thought about taking off this, um, I have this pin and it looks super cute and cool and it says, what a great day to be trash. I have two of these. So I wonder if I should hunt down my other one. I don't know, I could give up some stuff here. Like definitely a lot of the Animal Crossing pins, I don't really need those on my lanyard. I want to keep a uh, Rover on there just because I love him. I have this Hello Kitty that matches with the bag a little bit better, but I'm like, is matching really gonna matter? Cause I feel like, I don't know, I do like this on the bag. I think this vampire knight thing would be super cool on the bag, but it's also super cool my lanyard. Nobody knows what it is, like in the real world. This one's super cool, this little Sanrio pin. It's got everybody, I got Hello Kitty, little Twin Stars, Chaco Cat, Bats Maru, Pom Pom Purine, um, Kuromi, my Melody, Kuropi, like the whole gang. And some little cheeseburger guy. I don't know who he is, but go off. Now for just Hello Kitty, I have these two. I think I'll put this one in my lanyard and put this one on the bag. So I'm left with my two Rilakumas, four Animal Crossing, Amara Chan, Cuphead, little Good Vibes Lucky Cat pin, another cow, and then my Vampire Knight badge. So with all that, I have these four Animal Crossing buttons. I got the little Timmy and Tommy with the cherries. I got KK Slider with the bananas. I got Rover with the pear. I got Isabel with the apple. And then I got this little Rilakkuma with Ko Rilakkuma and the little, I forget the little bird's name, but he's in toast and then I have my vampire knight badge, and I think that'll be cool. And I also took this little bear off of there, and I'll add that to the bag as well. And so there's plenty of room for buttons down the side, but where the keychains hang, I don't know if I want to quite do that. Mostly over here, this little cat dude is kind of in the way, isn't he? So I'm like, maybe through here? I don't know. I kind of want, I want some symmetry, and I feel like there's no good way of doing that the way these keychains hang. I think I'll just start putting them in at the straps, because now I almost have too many buttons for this bag. Let's start with these two top corners. Let's do the Rilakkuma over here. We'll do the Hello Kitty over here. Okay, I think that's cute. 
the Hello Kitty little Rayla Kuma. Okay, let's get started on these straps. So I'll start with Rem. We'll stick her right on this strap at the bottom. We'll do Todoroki on the other side. I'll do my trash pin above that. I forgot about this pin. Hang on. This is so embarrassing, but I bought this when I first started at Hot Topic because I'm like, I can't believe they made a pin that says this. And it's funny because this word is getting thrown around again, like proudly. And I feel like people don't understand. It's a very, it's got a very negative connotation to it, but it's just a pin that says certified weave. And I'm like, that's perfect. Like I have to I should put that on my lanyard, actually. I don't know if it's because people just, like, don't understand, because I know it gets used on TikTok a lot, but weeaboo is not a good word at all. Like, you should not be saying that word unironically whatsoever. Yeah, that's not... Otaku is the word you're looking for, and even that is still iffy, but it's not, like, like weeaboo. Weeaboo is not a good word. Yeah. So again, don't be using that unironically. Oh my God. Should I put that on the bag? I think I'll put it on my lanyard. Let's see. I'm trying to find a good spot for it because I already have even pins on here. Perfect. Now everyone will know with my name written and everything. That's actually an incorrect spelling of my name, but like on purpose. I'll get into that another day. And again, I want there to be like room on this bag too to add one because I know I'll want to. Like I already have some more buttons on hold at work that I want to get when I get paid. I feel like since there is this space here, like I know it'll be annoying, but I'm kind of just gonna, I think I'm gonna throw this little bear right there. Cause there's just all this room over here and I know the keychains get in the way on the other side from like a symmetry aspect. This is such a mess, I love it. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. I wanna add, I think, you know what? This would work though. I think I'll take the Vampire Knight school badge and add it on this side right here. That way that spot doesn't look so blank compared to the other side and it still kind of gives some symmetry. Okay, now let's add the Animal Crossing buttons. Do Rover over here. Do KK on the other side. Do Isabel above Rover. I'll do Timmy and Tommy above KK Slider. I think the bird needs to go over more because I feel like he is kind of getting cut out. Like the dragon should shift and then the little bird should shift. I don't know, I didn't want to crowd the dragon too much. Yeah, I still have the honorable mentions of Umari-chan and Cuphead and I could add them on there. Like maybe over here on this side just because there's room. You know, I'm pretty happy with that. I think this has gone pretty well. I think that's cute. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Okay, what else do I have? I just have like little things that stick like this little princess crown on there. It's a hair clip, but like it'll work. Fun, fun, fun. And I also have this little bow one. So I like never really wear these in my hair actually. So I'm like, why not? I actually have two of these and like another one of these that's different colors. So I could do it like that, but I don't know. I think that makes it interesting. I still have my sword and Steve. And I don't know if I want to add these on there or not. Maybe here with the pig or maybe on the other zipper. And then when I zip them together, they'll all like kind of hang together. Yeah, I'll stick them on there. Why not? Why not? Or you know what? Maybe I'll stick Steve on my work keys. And just stick the sword on here. I don't know who the fuck would use a gold sword. Oh, it doesn't fit on the zipper. Wait, yeah, it does. In a way, yeah, it does. It's not well. It just kind of hangs weird. But it works. I don't want to overload it with the keychains. I'm kind of mad at myself for not using the squishy cat because it does match perfectly. I could stick it on the other side just to have something there. I feel like this, the back is so blank, but I'm like, what's the point? Because you're holding it against your body. So there'd be no sense in putting anything there. I could put the cat here with Hello Kitty. I don't know. I th I'm happy with this. Like, I feel like even the cat with the milk being together kind of messes me up. Like, I'd like to move the milk somewhere else. Maybe move this to the, to the zipper. Or maybe I could just take a safety pin and, like, put it right there. 
Because I know some people on these little hooks, they hang just as many keychains as they can. Keychains can get quite heavy, and I know this bag's already going to have a lot of weight to it from all this stuff. So that's my thing, is just being proactive about longevity. Like, I don't want to overload it with a bunch of heavy keychains and then have a shorter lifespan in a bag. Because you get what you pay for. This bag was really inexpensive. I'm not expecting it to, like, last forever or be, like, you know, top quality. Just put the little milk there next to Rilakuma. Kind of squish him down a little bit. Yeah. Oh, how fun. A little bird. I like that much better because then you can see the milk and it can like move more freely and you see how like flowy it is. That's so fun. Oh, I love it so much. I was so excited to come home and do this. I feel like I need stuff over here. You know, I'll be able to add one. I'll get more things for it. I think this is good. So now let's put everything inside. Everything I will need for my day tomorrow. Got my um planner. Got my lanyard for work, got my keys, change purse. I forgot I have this little doodad too. Got my little Rila Kuma pin, face mask, wallet. Have my actual house keys, extra car key. It's on a Hannah Montana lanyard <laughs> that I've had since I was 11. This is fun. This is turning into a what's in my bag. I don't know. It's a little Sailor Moon compact mirror. Wow, love it. Tea. <laughs> carry matcha tea bags with me. I like to have tea um, after I eat lunch and stuff. These are cool. These are like very like brat stall, I thought. I love those. Tell me those aren't such a look. Like I feel like such a bad bitch. Oh, more hand sandy. Have my little flyers, like little mini promotional flyers for like my YouTube. I should stick one of these like in this front pocket with Rila Kuma. Oh, it's upside down. I also have perfume and a little bad smooth squishy. Um, my um, noise canceling uh, earplug things for like concerts and for like um, overstimulation and stuff. I carry those with me. Eye drops. And this is, uh, it's shaped like an Easter egg, which is weird. Um, but it's like a little thing for my contacts. Like, in case I need to, like, take them out or something. Okay. Well, there's my what's in my bag haul thing. I guess let's start putting this stuff together. Start packing up my bag here. I'm gonna be careful as to not overcrowd the front pocket. Because the real Akuma hand sanitizer was open. At least my bag's gonna smell good now. These are UV blocking glasses. They're very cute. I know, like, people look at them and they're like, Harry Potter. <laughs> I just think they're cute. I like to wear these on, like, no makeup days and stuff. They're very dirty. But they're cute and they do work, um, like sunglasses. Like, they're not shaded. They just have, like, UV ray blocking stuff in them. I also have like blue light glasses I use. Very tired. I've been at this forever. It's like 11 o'clock now. I think that's everything. There's the bag in all its glory. 100% completed. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart. Like it feels pretty sturdy. I don't 100% trust it. I feel like um weight wise this is about what maybe one or two textbooks and a small laptop like a macbook air or a chromebook would feel like like something light so it could definitely handle something like that and it's the right size for it but here we go here's the final look with my little eat -a bag all the fun stuff show you the pins up close little cow didn't zip this part up. Wow! I love it. I'm so excited to take this to work tomorrow and to show everybody and take pictures with it. It's so cute. I'm very proud of this. This took way too long. I don't understand the people that do like the super intricate, organized color coordinated ones because this itself took me like two hours just now 
And there's not even that much stuff. Like comparatively with some people's Eda bags, there's really not even a lot here. So I could not imagine. I love the Squishmallows. I think that was a great idea and great addition. I'm obsessed with the little cat and the little bird. The dragon's cool too. They're so precious. I love little Rilakkuma being there with me all the time. My Hello Kitty. This little dude. He needs a name. So cute. My little pig over here. I don't know. That's so fun. I'm obsessed. If you are interested in this bag, I'll go ahead and um, link it below um, in case you want to purchase it yourself. Uh, I did buy it on Prime, so it was my free two-day shipping. And like I said, they have a ton of colors, so... Uh, if you're interested, check that out. And thank you for watching and being here and hanging out with me while I assemble my bag today. And I had a lot of fun. This was a fun video to do. It was a lot more fun to um, have you here so I can like talk it through and stuff like that instead of just sitting here in silence putting it together. I feel like that's not nearly as much fun. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna go um, probably to bed. I should anyways. But I won't. I'll be up till 3 a.m. watching anime as usual. <laughs> Try to say, if you're new here, subscribe if you want, but I'm not gonna tell you what to do. And I love you. Have fun. Be safe, like both ways, before you cross the street. I will see you next Monday. Bye!